In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade an image to transparent in Photoshop. So I have an image layer down here in my layers panel. You can get this same type of image layer just by clicking and dragging an image into Photoshop or by going up to File, down to Place Embedded. I would stick with Place Embedded over Place Linked just so that that image is embedded into your file. And once you have an image layer, we can add a mask to this to fade it to transparent and that will allow us to edit that later if we ever wanted to. So the first thing we might need to do to get actual transparency, we're going to need to remove this background layer. So we can uncheck the lock icon and then simply hit the trash can icon with that layer selected. It's going to say, hey, do you want to delete that layer? We're going to say, yes, we do. So now underneath this picture is only transparency. You'll see that with the transparent grid here in a second. The next thing we need to do is add a mask. So we select that image layer. We go down here to the mask icon and add a layer mask. Once we select that, it's going to create a mask out here. On this mask, we can paint in black and white. Now I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool. Don't follow along with this part. I'm going to simply paint a black swatch. You can see we have black and white right here. You can quickly flip between them. Make sure you don't have your image selected, but you have your mask selected. We're painting on this mask layer. So if I were to paint a black circle out here, you can see that it shows the transparency grid underneath. That's because I literally painted a black circle, which is kind of like a window into whatever's underneath this image. So with that being said, I could create a gradient that fades the image to transparency. So I'm going to press G. That's the gradient tool over here. You should see it with this icon. If you see the paint bucket tool or anything like that, just click and hold and you can find the gradient tool. Now up here, we can choose our gradient. I want to make sure it's a linear gradient. I want to make sure it goes from white to black and the mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. I like to keep dither on for a nice clean gradient. So next, we need to go create this gradient and basically it's going to be black on bottom where it's the most see-through and it's going to fade to white as it goes up. So if we click and drag upward, we actually have the reverse of our gradient. So if your image is looking like this, this is kind of the opposite of what we want. We could do two things here. Once we create that gradient, we can look on the right hand side and we have some gradient controls so we can edit this gradient. What I would do is click this reverse button and you'll notice exactly what happens here is that it flips the white and the black direction. And so now white is up top in our image, which keeps the image showing, and black is down below. We can see this in our mask. If we double click our mask, we can actually see by going to view down to black and white, that this is what our mask looks like, a simple linear transparent or a simple linear gradient that goes from black to white. But because we put that on our mask layer, then that will show transparency or it will show behind the image and then slowly fade into 100% opacity of the image. Now, with this gradient tool, we can still edit these points. I could bring this down. I could bring it up further. And I could even edit the different handles here. So like I could change the midpoint of this gradient. Right now we have our mask selected in the properties panel, but we could select this gradient icon and that gets us back to our gradient controls. We have some scale options here as well. Like there's a lot of options here that you can mess with to get the gradient to be just exactly what you want. There's a perceptual and linear and classic underneath the method. So that slightly adjusts sort of the smoothness and the different ways the colors are displayed on the canvas. So you can make some adjustments to that gradient here, but it keeps it completely editable. We are not deleting our image. In fact, if you hold shift and click on the mask, you can see that we're hiding the mask. It puts a red X on there. 
and we can still see all the image behind it. We hold shift again to click on the mask. That basically turns the mask on and off. You could even right click and just delete the layer mask if you don't need it anymore. But also, these are linked together, the image and the layer mask. That means that if I press V for my move tool and I move this image around, you can see that the mask moves with it. Now you can adjust that. Sometimes you want to uncheck this and click on the image and you might want to move the image underneath the mask. Or if I zoom out a little bit here and press Command or Control T, I can actually transform this image underneath the mask if I want to. Make sure I scale it up proportionally by holding Shift sometimes. In this case, I didn't need to. And I can move this image around with that gradient mask still staying right there. Now, if you wanted to change the direction of this gradient, it's pretty easy. We could zoom out a little bit. We could lock these back together. We could come in here and we could do a couple things. We could repaint on our mask and we could even paint with the brush. So if you wanted to be more custom, like we put in a gradient here, but we could press B for the brush tool, come up here and select a brush size, approximately what we want, but bring the hardness all the way down. That helps feather it to transparency. Then we can come out here, kind of see how large our brush is, use our bracket keys to kind of scale our brush in and out. And now when we click out here, we're actually painting on our layer with a very feathered brush. And we could custom do the fade to transparency. So you see, I kind of have this upper left-hand corner showing, but I've made this right-hand side fade to transparent as well. So you can do that custom with a brush. It does not have to be a gradient. And in fact, we could just completely delete this mask just by right clicking and deleting it. Our image is still there. We could create a new mask and we could just paint. And I do this a lot. I don't always use the gradient, linear gradient. A lot of times I might just paint to try to feather an edge, increase that brush size, and you'll really get a lot of good feathering out of it as the brush size increases and by keeping the hardness of the brush all the way set to zero, you can create quite a fade effect here. And of course, this is fading to transparent, which we're showing with the transparency grid underneath, but you could have anything underneath this. So if we had a layer down here, and let's say this layer had some color on it, I'm just gonna go up to edit, down to fill and I'm going to fill this layer with some kind of color. Let's pick like a very light tan as if it's some kind of light paper color. Hit OK, hit OK. So this uh, layer underneath here is filled with a color. It kind of looks like white. Let's let's change that up a little bit. We'll go to edit. We'll go to fill. I want to make sure you can actually tell that there's a color. It's not white necessarily. So we'll turn this into more of a yellow color. Hit OK, OK. All right, there's some old, old paper. Now we see yellow, and we can see that our image is actually fading into that yellow. We can turn on or off by holding Shift and clicking on that mask again, just to see what all that we are sort of fading out of the image. But that's how you can kind of fade an image into another. You're technically fading the top image into uh, transparency and allowing the underneath image to show through. You can see that here with the layer mask that we've created. And I've created that just by painting on this in white and black. If I think I do a little bit too much, a really quick way to flip flop between um, the colors that you're painting on your mask is to press the X key. You can actually see down here, we have the black and white. I don't wanna change that, but we have black and white down here and we can press the X key to flip-flop. Okay, now I'm painting in white, or now I'm painting in black. So when you're painting your masks, black will remove, and if we press the X key, now we have white, and we can actually bring back parts of our mask, just like that. So you'll do that a lot in Photoshop when you're painting on masks. You just press that X key and kind of toggle back and forth until you get the effect that you're looking for. And then, like I said before, we can unlink that take that picture and we can move that picture around underneath 
So that transparent sort of gradient feathering remains the same, but we can move the picture around, command or control T and kind of scale it up and down and do whatever we want with our image while fading it to transparent. Really hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. That's how you can fade an image to transparent in Photoshop.